Well, initially, when I was younger, I grew up with a very normal, dysfunctional family. Ended up making very poor choices, and I ended up getting 15 years in the Department of Corrections. While I was there, I uh, did what everybody else did, but found out very quickly that I needed to change my life, or I'd end up staying there for the rest of my life. I got on out. I had a fiance, and my life was great. I was working at Amazon, but she passed away shortly after that while working out, trying to be distracted to deal with grieving. I was hit by a car, fractured eye socket, ripped rotator cuff, and a fractured hip. I found myself back in Jackson because I lost everything. One of my buddies ended up telling me about Hannah based off the fact that her relationship with the community uh, that I should get in touch with her. And when I did, she ended up helping me get back on track. Hi, my name's Hannah Burgess. I'm the STEP program director for the Welcome Home Agency. My name is Patrick Madison, and I'm a mentor of the WHO organization. We walked through from the beginning, you know, he didn't have a stable place to stay or stable employment. So we went ahead and worked through that process, made sure we got his DHS and Medicaid situated, the job search. We actually signed him up for college and did the FAFSA, you know, and worked through that whole process. It's been very great. I really appreciate what he's done has been amazing. It's exactly what I want from the program. It's what I would hope from all the mentees. The STEP program likes to set up returning citizens for success. Uh, society likes to tell people to pull themselves up from their bootstraps. But there's an old adage that says, how are you gonna pull yourself up from your bootstraps if you don't have any boots? So STEP would like to provide things for these returning citizens like clothing, shoes, bedding. If they don't have those basic needs met, then we are setting these people up for failure. And if they have to struggle for too long, they're going to revert back to their old ways when it comes to trying to meet these needs. What so, you've always known to go to. What you've what always, always known been to go able to. to pay the bills. That affects the community, and it affects community safety. We would like to set these people up to be successful, to keep both them successful, and also to keep the community successful and safe. One thing that I realized from standpoint of an inmate coming on out you feel uncomfortable when you get on out you don't feel normal you feel different with that being said you don't feel that anyone can relate or really can grasp what you're actually going through so with this partnership where you have a mentor and a mentee you have someone that has gone through your journey so by doing that they're the ones that are the coach they're the ones that can inspire you to say hey look I understand it's difficult but when it comes on down to it you can do it just like I had you just need a little help, and that's what we're here for.